Tēnātātou katoa, good evening. New Zealanders holidaying in Taiwan have described their terror at being trapped on the 16th floor of a building as a magnitude 7.7 earthquake struck the island country. Buildings have collapsed in the city of Huahlien, where at least four people are dead and dozens are reportedly trapped. As Nick Truebridge reports, at least 50 people are injured. Miraculously, these children emerge seemingly unscathed from this quake-battered building. The magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake struck 18 kilometres south-southeast of Hualien City at 7.58am local time. This TV presenter live as all hell broke loose. Elsewhere, the earthquake trapped locals in buildings, brought traffic to a standstill and caused landslides. We spoke to Kiwis on the ground who recounted a sense of dread. Just violent. It, it's the biggest and longest earthquake I have ever felt. Like, it's nothing. That, that was just next level. And especially being so high up in a building. It was absolutely terrifying. Delphine Herbert landed in Taiwan last night with her partner. This is what greeted them this morning. You're in a foreign country that you've just landed in. You know about earthquakes, and we were on the 16th floor of a hotel, so it's not like we could just, you know, run outside and, and, and get away from the building. We had to just stay put in the doorways, and there were definitely moments when I thought, oh, you know, what if the building collapses? They're supposed to be here for three and a half weeks. Now... They're not so sure. We're kind of rethinking those plans now because we don't really want to be around earthquakes for the next couple of weeks. But also, you know, some of the places, especially along the coast and in a national park not far from here, that there's been a lot of damage, a lot of landslides. But Delphine, the people in these pictures, are the lucky ones. It's not known how many might be trapped as destroyed buildings litter some of the island cities. The rescue effort just starting after the biggest earthquake to strike here in two decades. Nick Trubridge, News Hub.